Well, I think there are several key principles to guide the creation and maintenance of a borderless organization. One of those is that fundamentally we must trust people. In the organization development field in recent years, there have been much written about and much research around the need for trust in organizations. And if we don't trust people, then we have to spend a lot of time, money, and effort double-checking whether what they are telling us is the truth. And that wastes everyone's time and effort. And, of course, I once attended a very interesting presentation by a VP of Human Resources in Hong Kong. And she was speaking to a class that I was teaching. And she said that one of the biggest problems in Asian culture is lack of trust. She said, you know, in Western culture, in the U.S., in Europe, uh, the trust issue is handled through legal means. You you sign a contract, and if people uh, break the contract, then you sue them in a court. But you assume, once they've signed the contract, that they're going to live up to the agreement. But sometimes in Asia, that issue of trust is not so easily maintained or established. Another issue are values. Do people share our values? Do they believe the same as we do about what is important for the business, what is not important for the business? Another way of thinking about values is what we believe is good business practice versus bad business practice and the infinite range of continuum between the two. So um, values, having shared values, is another critical element in a borderless organization. And finally, finding ways to improve, speed up the quality of uh, communication is a critical factor in the borderless organization. We use all virtual means. We use electronic as well as interpersonal means as well as group methods to do that.